Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. So today I'm on with India McQuell and she is the full body vinyl baby girl and she is the indie sculpt sculpted by Laura Lee Eagles and she was brought to life by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just wiping her down because when the babies sit, they tend to collect some dust. So I'm just wiping. Yeah. So I hope you guys had a great week, weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's India. McQuell's turn. I'm going to dress her in her onesie Wednesday, her holiday onesie Wednesday, uh, her holiday onesie should I say, yes. So I'm going to show you what she's going to wear. Okay. So now I'm just continuing to dry her off completely the first cloth was damp yeah so what's you guys plans for the holidays my plan is to have a quiet stay in we're traveling this weekend. Now I'm changing her out of this parent's choice pampas in size newborn. She wears a newborn. And this is what her body looks like. Again, this is a full body vinyl. So if anyone is interested in having a full body vinyl, this is what it looks like. And the good thing about this particular body type is if you just prefer the cloth body you can take her out of this vinyl torso and then she would just have her vinyl arms legs head on a cloth body yeah so you have your options okay so let me go ahead and change her in this newborn uh, pampas by the brand pampas Yeah, so she is anatomically correct. She is a little girl. So, um, a full body vinyl does have a little girly part. And I think with this torso, I think it's, it, well, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I don't necessarily need to have a, like a undershirt. And then the onesie, let me show you what she's going to wear. This is by Cardis. It's in the newborn size. Now, India is, I think she is 17 inches. Yeah, so she wears a smaller newborn. And she's wearing this onesie, this holiday uh, onesie. It's like in a hunter green and it has red flowers, red, white flowers. Yeah. And the inside of this is white. So I don't necessarily have to put on an undershirt. Not really, but you know what? Because I have it, I'll go ahead and put it on her. I find now, you know, for many, many years, I've always used undershirts, like underneath my baby's outfits to protect their uh, cloth body. And likewise with my own children, I always dress them in undershirts. But... <laughs> I don't know. It just seems that uh, undershirts, they just keep getting so dense. After a while, they lose that 
bright white look start to look a little yellow yellowish so I don't know I'm trying to decide whether I should continue buying white undershirts or maybe I should just buy the different color ones you know they have other like um, pastel colored undershirts at least that way you wouldn't notice like the yellowish tint in the color I don't know I'm thinking about it okay so she's going to wear this again it's in the newborn size by Cardis and I do most of my um, baby shopping at Cardis one reason being is well actually there's more than one I find that Cardis do have really good sales uh, they're also very stylish but what I especially like is that when I place an order I get all my items in one package and that is something that discourages me from Walmart whenever I purchase from Walmart they always ship separately and that's annoying to me so that's what I enjoy about Cardis. I get all my items in one package. Yeah. All right, so to accessorize this onesie, I decided to, she's going to borrow her little brother's booties. Yeah, he's not home as yet, so until he gets home the babies have been wearing his uh some of his items he should be home soon though he should be be home in the new year in the new year okay This onesie look a little long, but that's okay. All right, so she's going to wear these red booties. And these crochet booties were handmade from a seller on Etsy. I've had these booties now for what <laughs> almost two years <laughs> yeah still waiting on my little boy to arrive at home still waiting my artist had some problems with his paint so she's still working on him hopefully this time Hopefully the paint doesn't peel off. All right, and he, she's going to wear this little red headband. So let me get her spray bottle and her hairbrush. she is just knocked out it's like nothing faces her she's just completely knocked out
Okay. So this is India McQuell, dress in a holiday onesie for onesie Wednesday. I'm guessing this might be an early onesie Wednesday video or I might just decide to post it tomorrow instead of today. Okay, and a little pacifier. She doesn't want a pacifier today, so I think she just wants a f her thumb. And McQuell is also a thumb sucker, so yes. So that's India McQuell, all dressed for onesie Wednesday. Let's pull back her sleeve a bit. Yes, guys. And again, she's the India Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. She is a full body vinyl baby. And you have the option, you can wear her with the vinyl torso or without. And if anyone is interested in what she looks like without the torso, I do have videos where I had taken her out of the torso so she was just in her cloth body. Very, very flexible, move very well. See, with the full body vinyl torso, she's very stiff. But when she is back in her cloth body, she is very, very flexible. Very, very flexible. So if anyone is interested in seeing what this sculpt looks like with and without the torso, you can just look back in my uh, former videos, you'll be able to see lots of videos of McQuell out of her final torso. All right, and she was brought to life by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies, and she is painted in a biracial skin tone. And she have, uh, what do I call this? It's uh, it's not brown. It's like a reddish brown. Yeah, it's like a reddish brown. All right, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching and you have a super great day. Bye-bye.